Qualcomm Spin, uh, the product analyst, analyst from B Labs, to give us a presentation. So Spin, it's yours. Hi, I'm Spin from B Labs. I'd like to introduce our solution, Flappy, with you. And um, We believe blockchain will be uh, will take off at the AI part um, age, and paying money is one of the most common daily life. So to realize our vision, we start from payments. Using the blockchain technology, BlockPay provides an efficient, affordable, and legal compliance payment service, and um, the, one of the major bottleneck uh, of blockchain is to comply with the uh, current regulation, such as know your customer and anti-money laundry policies. Our BlockPay solution provides centralized wallet management to meet the requirements and to, uh, to simplify uh, cross-border uh, payments with decentralized infrastructure. So this flexibility of payment management allows all size of business to use it. And the system also um, gives uh, uh, financial regulators uh, to, uh, to monitor, but without leaking uh, chat secrets. So what can BlockPay solve? First, BlockPay can create a token ecosystem by removing middlemen between merchants and consumers. So in this way, um, our clients can have deeper engagement with their users, such as precision marketing and data analysis. Let me give you one more interesting use case here. So our clients, you in charge, aims to build a 1 million charge station for e-bike in uh, three years. So BLAMS provide two layer infrastructure. The first layer is an uh, investing token, which enable crowdfunding for one single charging station. And the second layer is a uh, uh, utility token. So that uh, for user to pay for their charging fee. And so uh, also the, uh, the investing token can be transformed into utility tokens. And to complete this ecosystem. With the complete ecosystem, uh, you in charge can retake their customer from WeChat Pay or other third party payment service. So, second, BlockPay can also aggregate the payment methods, uh, either it is gateway or highways. As you can see on the uh, shop store, uh, they, uh, they support uh, traditional credit cards and um, innovative third party, uh, the third party payment system. So BlockPay can just um, integrate them in one step. The third, um, you can look at your uh, smartphone and you can find, uh, probably you can find there are several uh, applications to collect coupons, but they can exchange um, to each other and um, it's probably have low liquidity. So BlockPay can, um, can enhance the liquidity of cross company coupons and tokens. So in summary, um, BlockPay give our clients an opportunity to complete one step digital transformation of loading infrastructure costs and increased revenue. In some situations, BlockPay can also um, provide our customers um, offline payments and temporary wallets. So for cross companies value exchange, either it's digital uh, digital currency or tokens, BlockPay would be the best solution. So, uh, furthermore, think of the um, markets. Uh, there is five trillion US dollars market potential for global digital um, digital payments. Uh, however, the current uh, payment service um, is still challenging for business to adopt because of the um, high cost our technology limits. So BlockPay is definitely a um, potential option for our customers. So to achieve our goal, we need 4 million US, uh, funding, US dollars funding. Uh, the use of funds includes building up an operating team and enter the Southeastern market and um, to ensure the strategy marketing and intellectual property. 
So um, there are two ways to co collaborate with our investor. So first, they can get Parado uh, dividends if uh, uh, when uh, when B-Labs grows, and second, they can get share if uh, B-Labs is buy out. And we also list down some possible risk here. And considering the features of IT industry, we highlight uh, patent and HR. So uh, we will we are applying for at least two patents, and um, to, we'll create option pools to retain talent. So Philips is your best choice to empower everyone to access and strive in the new economy. My name is Bin Yuan. Thank you for your uh, time and listening. Thank you, Bin. Thank you so much. And so now let's invite our judge to show the score. Uh, Peter, what's the score you have? Yeah, I will give them four. Thank you. Uh, so Jeff, what's the score you have? I'll give them five. Thank you. Vicky? Vicky, you're muted. Yeah, Vicky, you unmute you, yourself, please. Oh, sorry. It's five. Okay, thank five. you. So, so, Ray, what's your score? Uh, I'm five as well. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So, who's going Any, to ask the question? Any one of the judges want to ask questions? Otherwise, I'm going to ask some questions. Yeah, go ahead. You like that? Great. Um, I watched your video you started pitching out the pitch about internet of everything and then focus down to blah pay um uh, my challenge to you is your go-to market why do you choose payment as your first product in your big dream of internet of everything especially when payment has already so many different startups and also incumbent established players out there and who do you think how do you think about your go-to market strategy Thank you. Um, so first, why we choose payment? Because when we communicate with the market, we find um, so either auto industry or energy industry, they need a um, value exchange system. That's a simple idea, just like a settlement uh, system. However, um, uh, so that's our first idea to create a, a payment uh, especially designed for IoT uh, world. So that's our initial idea. So when we go further and we find not only um, like auto companies, our uh, energy industry have that idea because retail, uh, retailer also have some uh, conflicts with third, uh, third party payment service because uh, they becomes kind of a service provider, but they're um, their interests are uh, taken away by, uh, by the, uh, by, for example, Uber Eats or other digital tycoons. So that's the basic idea. We just started to um, talk about payment. And um, so for the go-to-market um, uh, strategy, we, now we have one client uh, is in China. And uh, just like I say, it's you in charge. And, we find that they want to uh, take, retake their users from WeChat or others, uh, uh, other mobile payments. And so um, we also find the same, uh, same problems in retail, like, uh, so like traditional uh, service provider. So um, our go to market will be started from energy or mobility. And also we are, um, com uh, we are trying to, uh, Pr um, propose this idea to uh, retailer or some e-commerce that's still in negotiation. I see, Vicky, maybe you will have questions about why is it so special about energy industry that they choose this as an entry point? Is there a uniqueness about payment within energy industry? I'll have Vicky and you have a dialogue, yeah. I, actually, the, I, I don't think the energy companies may be using this system is over now. Is a uh, for me, as I, I couldn't imagine it a lot about that now. <laughs> it's difficult to, to use it, I think. Yeah, so to the presenter, sorry, I, I forgot your name, but Vicky owns a significant chunk of Chinese uh, energy-related software industry. She's a, uh, one of the largest players over there. So uh, you may want to consult her about how unique it is uh, regarding energy industry down the road. Um, any other judges have any other questions? Otherwise, I'm going to shoot another question. 
Okay, after energy, you want to go to um, retail. What's the linkage between energy and retail? What's the what? Linkage. Uh, What's linkage. the continuation? Ah, okay. So, um, so originally we want to design for the payment, uh, especially for IoT, but we find the most uh, frequent payment actually happens in retail. And they also encounter some issues such as um, um, the uh, profits going to uh, like digital tycoons or like um, new uh, unicorns companies. So actually they want to solve this and they also want to uh, retain their customers in some way. So I think payment is a very good starting. That's our um, initial idea. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I have no more questions. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Uh, thank you, Spring, for your wonderful presentation. Yeah, let's get the next start ready. Yes. AI clerk. Yes, AI clerk. AI clerk, are you, are you ready? And please get on screen and we're going to have the next team. So while we are waiting for AI clerk, uh, Jeff, would you like to make some comments? to the two teams you just heard. I think yeah. uh, um, New, Nuva has a, a very good starting point uh, with a, a good uh, uh, investors uh, chip in uh, at early stage with the uh, uh, investor and also the, uh, the customer. Um, so I think that, that uh, Nuva has a, a shipment and orders uh, uh, that the foundation uh, is a good start. Um, Build Lab, I think uh, they are too immature and uh, um, I didn't see team, I didn't see the strong competition uh, in what they are going to do, especially when you look at the, their uh, competition metrics. Uh, they put on a right top corner, and I don't think uh, that is uh, realistic. So um, I think uh, Build Lab uh, needs to um, address their, their market uh, and their target and their strength and competitiveness um, uh, with details and strengthen uh, what they are doing. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff.